Hi, my name is Karthik Rangappa. In this video, let's understand the bull call spread. When you buy or sell an options position, it's also called a naked option position. Naked option position carries an extreme amount of overnight risk. Let me explain. Assume that you've sold a call option on TCS. Now, what do you expect as a call option seller? You obviously expect the price to drop. But imagine, the next day, there is an announcement on the stock where the government declares that they've awarded a 800 million outsourcing project to TCS. What do you think will happen to the stock price? Obviously, the stock price will increase and your naked call option position will start to bleed. Most professional option traders don't like to trade options this way. They would like to avoid overnight risk as much as possible. Instead, they prefer to set up something called as a spread position where they predefine the risk and reward. When I say multi-leg strategies, usually it involves two or more option transactions as well. The spread strategies are some of the simplest strategies an option trader can implement. Spreads are usually multi-leg positions involving two or more option contracts. In this video, let's deal with a very simple option spread position called the bull call spread. You initiate a bull call spread when you're moderately bullish on a stock or an index. In a bull call spread, you buy an add the money call option. This is also called the leg one of your option strategy. Let me represent that with a green block. Once you've set up the first leg of the option, you go ahead and set up the second leg of the option, which is to sell an out of the money call option. Let me represent that with a red block. Ensure that when you set up a bull call spread, you're dealing with the same underlying, same expiry. The difference between the two legs, that's the at the money call option and out of the money call option is called the spread of the position. Let me take an example to show you how you can set up a bull call spread. The first thing I do after logging into Sensible is go to the strategy builder section of Sensible. I click on build a new custom strategy. I'll stick to Nifty 28th October expiry for now. Nifty currently is trading at 17,800. So the nearest strike to 17,800 becomes at the money. As you can see, 17,800 call option is trading at 281.75. Let me add this to my strategy. Now, I go and look for a out of the money call option that I can sell. Let me pick the 18,000 call option, which is trading at 187.7 to sell. Just to summarize, I have a long position on 17,800 call option by paying a premium of 281.75. And I have a short position on 18,000 call option and I've received a premium of 187.7. Both the legs together forms a bull call spread. The difference between the strike, that's the 200 point, is called the spread of this position. Further, on one hand, I've paid 281.75, and on the other hand, I've received 187.7. On an overall basis, there is a net debit of 94 rupees. In fact, a bull call spread always results in a net debit. With all those things in place, let's look at the payoff structure of a bull call spread. What you're seeing here is the combined PNL of the long and short position. There are three sections that I want you to pay attention to. The first section is the portion of graph which is red in color. What that is trying to indicate is, irrespective of how much the market falls, after I initiate the bull call spread, the loss is contained. Likewise, the green part of the chart indicates that the profit, irrespective of how much the market moves up, is also contained. Both profits and losses are predefined here. Now, because both the profits and losses are predefined, there are no surprises to a trader. 
Now this is a good situation to be in where all the possible outcomes good or bad is already visualized and you as a trader can sleep peacefully. Classic situations to set up a bull call spread is when you're moderately bullish on a stock. For example, let's say you spot a hammer on the chart and you know that the stock is likely to move but not at an aggressive pace. Here is a situation where you can apply a bull call spread instead of a naked long position. Of course, I would suggest you to visit this chapter on Varsity where we've detailed out the bull call spread and analyzed this strategy from multiple dimensions. Please do post your comments if you have any and I'll be happy to get back with a reply. There are various other strategies that you can apply when you have a directional view. Of course, we've discussed a lot more in Varsity, so I would suggest you to read through them. In the next video, I'll try and discuss a strategy where you don't have to have a directional view on the market. Key takeaways from this video are 